Alright, hey guys, what's up? This is Kalisax here, and this video is just going to be me bringing you guys some ArcGage footage, or ArcGage beta footage. Um, there's really no specific goal to this video, I'm really just kind of recording myself playing, just so you guys can kind of see what ArcGage is about. This is definitely one of the games that I've been most excited about, um, and I'm, now that I'm finally playing it. I've actually been playing it um, pretty much all weekend. As you can see up here, I'm level 23, my horse's level is 20, and I'm, we're just going back here uh, over to my farms, which actually, that's a random person's farm. These are my farms. Actually, that's Ethan's, and then this is mine. And these trees are ready to harvest, so let's go ahead and jump off our horse here and go ahead and harvest these guys. And I'm trying to collect wood from these trees so that way I can start building a house and the house, oh, watch out for the log falling. Ah, alright. Yeah, I'm trying to collect wood um, so I can make a house, and with the house comes extra storage space and more farm space and all that stuff. Look out, horse! <laughs> alright, oops, I accidentally cancelled that. But yeah, these trees have been growing. They took about 12 hours to grow, which is quite a long time. Um, just for four trees especially. I'm just going to de-summon my mount because it's kind of in the way. Um, but yeah, so they take a while to grow, and I could only plant four since I've, I've got the smallest garden here. Um, you notice this game actually uses actual physics. As you see, it saw the tree fell down, hit the scarecrow, and kind of rolled off the scarecrow's arms and landed on the ground. So, And actually... I just got back from Mirage Isle, which in this game, that is the, uh, that is kind of like where you go and you buy, like, uh, basically you buy everything there. It's just kind of like the marketplace. It's where you go to buy all your stuff. Um, and I just got back from there and I bought a donkey. Now, as you can see, the picture of it is brown, but it's actually gray. Don't, don't be fooled. So let's go ahead and plant my donkey down in my garden so that way it's safe no one can touch it and we're going to raise this little donkey <laughs> so let's amuse the baby I have to feed him except I need Vita root so how do I get Vita root oops I accidentally just got rid of him did not mean to do that let's reset him back down <laughs> Alright, now I need Vita Root. I don't know where to get that though. Let's summon my horse up, jump on him. And as you can see, this is one of the many housing areas of this uh, of this area. Uh, it's actually one of the more empty ones. This place doesn't have quite as many houses. Uh, there's more houses here than there were yesterday when I was on, but I kind of put my stuff way out in the back to be kind of away from everybody else. And once I get enough lumber and uh, materials to build a house, that's where I'm going to be building. That's where I'm going to be building my house as well, back there. So let's see. Where would I find Vita Root? Maybe at the General Merchant. I, mean, I have a quest I have to do for General Mer Memory Inc. Here we go. I need to buy one for a quest. There we go. Now, Vita Root. Um, oh, I think I just saw it. Vita Seed? This feed becomes ready for... Oh, okay, so let's just get a few of these, actually. And we'll go back to our donkey over here. Sprint over there so we can get there faster. Alright. Hop off the hop off the horse. Tell the horse to stay. And now we are going to plant some beater seeds. Alright, we'll put one there. And 
we'll also put one there. And we'll put one, oops. Oops, I accidentally ate food. We'll plant one there. So, now we just gotta wait for these to grow. And this one's only got about five seconds left, so once it grows, I should get the Vita root, and I should be able to feed my donkey. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and harvest it. Now we should be able to feed our donkey. There we go. So you see our donkey's kind of bucking and, and stuff. That's like the sign it's growing up. All right, let's harvest this. Let's see, he's got about 30 seconds or so left. Um, so while he's finishing up, I'm gonna go buy some more uh, tree saplings because I need to keep growing trees. Actually, I need to see, how many logs did I get? I got 25 logs from that. I also like this area because it's right next to a, uh, kind of like a hub where you can just go and buy everything. So let's go to, should be a sapling merchant somewhere. Here he is. Um, what am I doing? I need to buy over here. Okay. Let's see. Let's just keep buying the, actually, which one grows? fastest. Oaks take a long time. So let's buy a few more aspen. And we'll go and plant those. And we'll finish our don we'll finish uh, growing our donkey, I guess you could say. But yeah. Um, I like the area that I picked because, like I said earlier, it's a bit more empty. If you see uh, some of the other housing areas, this is a, actually a secret housing area. So not like, like it's not marked on the map. So not as many people know about this one, whereas the ones that are marked on the map are pretty much completely full. So now I have to give our donkey some water. There we go. Now I have to wash our donkey give him a little bath. <laughs> While he's doing that, let's uh, go ahead and plant some trees. Yep, 45 seconds. Alright, so let's put this one right here. And then let's move our bag over just a little bit. Oops. Then we'll put this one right next to it. And then this one over here. Maybe if we can... I don't think it's gonna fit. Darn. Oh well. We'll just have to wait for our donkey to grow up before we can plant the last two. Oops. Right, now I have to dance with our donkey, because that is a very, very important step in your donkey's mature rate. Let's see, have I paid taxes on this? Yes, I have. Paid in full. Alright, now our donkey is at the next stage. Or no, our donkey's done. Awesome. I've got a shield here that I never even looked at. Let's take a look. Uh... We'll go for it. Why not? All right, now let's move some stuff around. Um, we won't really need this skill yet, actually. We can remove this skill and put this down here. Then move all of these over.
and then we will put our donkey right next to our horse. All right. Now we do summon our horse, and we now have a donkey. That is awesome. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Now the donkey is a bit slower than the horse, and um, yeah, obviously the donkey is a bit slower than the horse. However, the donkey special trait is if you have a trade pack on your back, um, it, you will move a lot faster rather than walking or being on horseback. If you're actually on horseback with a trade pack, you'll go slower. On foot, it's just normal. And then when you're on a donkey, uh, you're faster. So that's what the donkey does. And why am I coming down here? Oh, I need to go to the stonemason. That's right. So there we go. We have to make a stone brick. Awesome. Now, here's what I'm trying to craft, except I need these Shadagons Wedge, and I don't know how to get those. Maybe from the General Merchant? Hey, you do get it from the General Merchant. Alright, I'll buy a couple of those. Now, now what these Hereafter Stones do that I'm trying to craft right here is they allow you to teleport around the map and if you have or any place you've just any like big city or something you've discovered you can teleport there using using this book that you get at the very beginning of the game so let's craft these however each time you teleport it takes one of these hereafter stones and they're not exactly the easiest to get because a uh, stone is a little harder to come across because it kind of, it spawns naturally in the world and usually other players are just all over it so alright actually no we're not gonna go on the horse we're gonna go on the donkey let's go and my donkey is at base level level five um, because obviously I just got it and actually, let's let's rename our donkey. Um, but first, we need to plant the rest of these aspen trees because I'd like for them to mature all around the same time. All right, let's get this one as far over here as possible, so that way the other one has room to grow in the back corner. All right. Oops, I always do that. Alright, now let's get this one right here. Awesome! Now, in 10 hours, <laughs> uh, all these trees will be ready for harvest, and I'll get more logs, and that means that I'll be just one step closer to getting a house. So, uh, yeah. That's really going to be it for this video, just kind of showing you guys a little bit of the farming and uh, the farming and the pets and mounts aspect of the game. Here's my other pet, by the way. He's a wolf, which I, just, I also need to rename. Um, so this is just a little arcade showcase showing you guys what, uh, what all you can do in this game. Really, this is just a very, very small portion of this game. I'm going to be continuing to making these videos today, so they'll probably be coming up tomorrow, which will either be Monday or Tuesday. And so, yeah, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll see you guys in the next video.